special episode. It's going to be a little bit of special. Um, uh, two of them big parking, but it's on the uh, the the time run. Good morning, everyone. Kahapon uh, pula ano market, but ano niya sa mga bibilis sa inyo bawat kung ita at ilang blue kamoy kita na mga blue. So that's very good. Good job, everyone. Kahapa kahapan. Yeah. So um, that's good. Uh, somehow it's. Usually, then you have the gold, you have breakouts, you usually do have an idea of a breakout. So, what do we have for this one? But today, we're going to be talking about uh, the third Dell post. Um, and I'm just saying the post is a billionaire's club today about the third Dell post. And everyone is hyped up um, since uh, naglalabas na na ang video ang mga uh, contenders na ito. Diba? So, um, today uh, it's going to be an open discussion. Please let me know what you think about the third po on the comments and I'm gonna share to you my side of what your idea is. Also, so we can discuss it and let everyone know. If you know something, if you may sekreta kaya alam dyan, um, let us know, right? Uh, please, uh, para, ano, uh, para, uh, mapag-usapan natin kung uh, may trouble kayo or may ano. So that's very good. Good job, everyone. Yes, kahaba. Um, yeah, so, um, that's good. Uh, somehow, it's Sorry about this. Uh, hello? How about now? I think that's okay now. Yeah, that's my bad. That's my bad. Sorry about that. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's okay. okay. Uh, I think it's okay now. Yeah. Taka lang ha, I just want to make sure. Yan, um, I think everything is okay now. I just used the wrong microphone, yung headphones na microphone ko ang gumana pala kanina. Sorry about that. Cuz I that's because I do my own technique uh technicals here. Eh. Right? So yeah, um now, uh again, we'll talk about uh let me restart. Yeah, today uh it's going to be an open discussion, all right? Uh pag-uusapan natin ang third telco. Let me know what your idea is about the third telco and then Mm. Sorry about this. Ayun, um, okay na. How about now? <laughs> and say, I think okay, okay na. Okay and sorry, sorry about that. Yeah, okay na. So yun. Um, let me know what you think about the third telco. Uh, you have any ideas, share it to us. We're going to be discussing it. And then I'm going to be, uh, what do you call this? I'm going to be sharing to you my side of the story. Again, sorry about that. Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, good morning to my daughter, Laika. And pasensya na sa starting natin yan. Medyo pangit. Pero yeah, everyone is hyped up sa third telcong ngayon. Kasi alam na natin ngayon kung sino ang mga contenders. Ayun. So we're, we're going to be talking about uh, your ter- third telco uh what do you call this? Uh, your third telco ideas. I uh, think we're going to have charting then mamaya. Um, I'm not going to be recommending that much today. Anyways, kahapon yung mga charts natin, uh, karamihan nag-win naman kahit red si market, di ba? So that's very good. But then again, I always don't recommend trading in this kind of market na bearish ang market. So, yun. Uh, uh, we'll not... Or we're, if we have time, we're gonna talk about other charts. It's susulat ko pa yung mga request ninyo. Um, Joy Ligares, um, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Good morning then. J- Jul Ganda, good morning, Sir Lloyd. And Ella Montefalco, good morning, Sir. And good morning din sa inyo. Hops, good morning. Carla Galicia, Galicia good morning. Pulling Bear, good there, Sir. See you in Manila. Yes, uh, in Manila, October 20. I hope nakapag-register na kayo. Let, I'll, I'm gonna see you guys there. Join the workshop, right? Um, Jul Ganda, okay. Pa ba i-hold si now? I think okay naman. 
um cuz now has been very aggressive in their developments ganito kasi yan eh um sige so, sim- simulan na natin from the from the comments ng mga tao okay ba i-hold si now um i want you to hold it if you are into it as a third Uh, if you're betting for its future, it's not for really short-term gains, right? Si now kasi, baka ang um, tendency kasi, baka pag hindi sila mapili, there's a possibility na bumagsak yan. And then, mamaya-maya pa yan mag-recover um, if they are gonna show rec- uh, recover um, future projects after the bidding, right? So, I think that's gonna be the scenario of now. If hindi sila mapipili, they're still gonna be good. But I think it's gonna go down for a bit. Um, ba- maba muna siya and then once it stabilizes it's gonna do a reversal um, once it shows future projects kasi ang, ang kagandahan kasi is if if hindi mapipili ang telco na yan for for third telco like ECB sila sila yan um, sila now um, sino pa ba yung iba they're gonna have the funds right because they have to need they need to have the funds beforehand before sila makapag-bid. So kahit hindi sila mapipili, they already have the funds to become uh to become a good telco, right? And then they will have access to this uh to to the dark fiber technology. So magagamit pa rin nila yung funds na yan. So aakyat pa rin yung stocks sta, 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 uh magre-reverse pa rin yung stock na yan in the future. So if you're betting on the future of now, And yeah, that's okay to hold for me. And then just average down on the clear reversal muna, right? Well, right now, now is kind of cheap, diba? So, yun. Um, that's for now. Uh, but I really don't want to mess with your trading plan, right? Excuse me muna. You have your own trading plan. Always, always calculate your risk muna, alright? Because right now, yung mga third telco na yan, um, and just bottom line, uh, it's speculative, right? Speculative pa ngayon. Hindi pa natin alam kung sino ang magiging third telco talaga. So, anyone can win and many can lose, right? Mas marami pa matatalo. Para rin ano yan eh. Mas maganda pa, um, mas maganda siya sa loto kasi ilan lang ang pipiliin mo and ma- marami kang malaki mapapanalunan mo pag tumama ka, ba? Diba? Ilan lang sila, ba? Diba? Um, ISM, right? May balita sa ISM mamaya. So, we're gonna be discussing about that. Pero yung kay now, Yeah, you can hold it, but for now, I don't want you to really put much money in them yet, because they're speculative, muna, and that's gambling. And don't uh, gambling is risky. Don't risk your entire port, okay, guys? Um, JR, my official backdoor na ba si Converge ICT? Wala pa rin din discuss na official backdoor si Converge ICT, but they're working on their IPO already this year. So yun, um, I think, uh, gagawin naman nila yung IPO. Uh, bak- pero baka mabisi sila sa ano eh baka mabisi sila sa third telco bidding eh so yeah um let's see if may development uh, about Vulcan nawawala na yung hype about Vulcan eh Addison C good morning sir like good morning then Carla Galicia IRC sir um let's talk about IRC in a while ayan si IRC and may news nga pala kay IRC hindi siya official news it's an insider email and um na wala talaga silang ano wala silang contender talaga si IRC Uh, it's just that they haven't sent out the official news yet. So yeah, IRC, may tendency ng aakyat din yan. Uh, we'll talk about the chart of IRC in a while. All right, Addison C, good morning. Um, uh, may question si JR, eh. JFC, STR Food, Ali, ISM, Sir Lloyd. And let's talk about that, the charts in a while. Um, hops, naging... Morning habit ko na ito sir parang di buong kapag wala. Yes, thank you so much mga suma- sumusuporta sa um what they call this sa mga sumusuporta sa The Daily Grind. Ang mga pala guys, um if you want the program to continue. Yet I'm asking for your help sa so Financial Freedom 101 um is asking for your tip. And um if ever you wanna help the channel, um just go to uh just send me a message so I can get I send I can send you uh account details pero kung saan kayo pwede mag-donate for Financial Freedom 101 to help this uh, to help continue the channel right Jeremy Smart Gamboa good morning Sir Lloyd and Laika Bloom please ayan si Bloom uh, kahapon umakyat si Bloom hanggang mga around 5% eh, ba diba? before really going back but yeah good price action so I'd say Bloom is already good to the, uh, yesterday was the confirmation of that support right Jums, uh, Jeremy Smart Gamboa good morning Sir Lloyd ayan kakabasa ko lang pala nyan uh, but still we'll talk about Bloom Ayan. 
Um, Dalan bawa main buntak sir Lord. I was able to ride up trend of tail using price action, and you always thought uh, that you always taught us buy at MA20 and sell at 3.5 percent gain. Dengan salamat sir Lord. Galing cheers. Yeah, good job, Daran bawa. Bu- j- uh, Daran bawa. Alright. Uh, enjoy your earnings. Alright. Keep it up. Right. Um, practice muna. Alright. Keep practicing it until na magi instinct nyo na talaga yan. Alright. Antonio Dela Cruz. Good morning, sir Lord. Mag double bottom base PSEI affected by by uh, ang RLC o IRC uh, let's talk about PSEI about double bottom RLC and IRC yan um, if may time pa tayo pag-usapan natin yung mga charts okay Honey can big thing good morning coach and like MPI GFC and food please alright let's talk about these things uh, mamaya if ever may time pa tayo because we're gonna be discussing about the third telco today alright hops inputs of Vita sir and ion terms of fundamentals Vita and ion alright ang yeah uh, si, pag-usapan natin si Vita alright this is from hops question ni hops uh, fundamentals ni Vita I think fundamentals of Vita is good already kasi kakalabas lang nila sa rehab eh. right? before you are able to get out of rehab you have to show that your company is stable already and they were able to get out of rehab so I think fundamentals is okay naman hindi pa talaga lumalabas sa numbers nila but the numbers are improving nonetheless right so so Vita yes I think Vita is okay but it's kind of shaky with its second quarter numbers let's wait for the third quarter numbers let's see how it will do but I think if maganda naman yung third quarter numbers then magre-recovery ka agad din si Vita right because of that fundamental na kakalabas lang nila sa uh, what you call this uh, rehab right corporate rehab ang ibig ko sabihin right ayon ionics naman yes uh, technology is still very uh, very uh, is doing well pa rin um ayon is has good fundamentals it's just that the market right now is down so yeah, kaya medyo mahina right and also they're earning in dollars Tsaka, sila ni IMI right um they're earning in dollars ang kagandahan niyan is lumalaki lumalaki ang uh, ang what they call this ang value ni dollar di ba kahit ng piso let's say um uh, for the past p- ilang buwan di ba from 50 uh, 51 naging 54 na ngayon so that's 3 pesos right it sounds small on a 1 dollar scale but what if your uh, your company is earning in millions right so if ever usually is uh, you earn 1 million dollars and then nag increase ng ang dollar to 3 ng 3 pesos Right, you just earned 3 million pesos more without even doing anything, right? Same you're you're doing the same thing but you're earning more because of the uh of the dollar and peso rate, diba? So that's the dollar and peso rate is very good for these kinds of companies, right? Na nag import talaga. Um Rodrigo Carlos, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Edric um, Picones, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Any insights bakit pababa ng pababa si LTG because the market is going down mm, that's all that's really the problem right mm. so in these kinds of market na pababa ng pababa and the best bet lang talaga natin is let's hold on to the stocks that are really really stable those so are tested by time LTG I know has good fundamentals kaso nga lang ang sentiments ng karamihan pag ganitong market na napaka bearish is doon sila sa mga magandang companies like look at Globe right Globe is umaakyat na naman ngayon Tel is umaakyat um JFC kind of shaky si JFC bumababa pa siya pero nung simula kasi ng um, bearish market hindi naman siya gumalaw talaga pababa so ngayon na siya apektado late late yung adverse yung effect uh, late yung effect ni uh, ng bearish market kay JFC right so yan LTG um, walang gaano nakakaalam niyan right si LTG hindi ga, hindi gaano alam ng mga especially retailers hindi nila kilala si LTG right so yeah kaya wala kang gaano pumapasok and these retailers know about PLDT they know about uh, Globe they know about SM they know about Ayala so yun yung mga medyo stable na mga companies in these kinds of ano in these kinds of market Arjun Dosa, good morning Sir Lloyd, GFC and BDO po Let's talk about that in a while GFC and BDO uh, Pwede natin pag-usapan yun mamaya uh, Sir, I, Sir, Sir IDC and OR Uy, nagka-shake off kay OR yesterday uh, IDC, let's talk about that Also, hello Sir, good day What do you think of ABBA? ABBA has been there on my list um, For like how many uh, months na siguro, right? So I'm gonna be I still recommend ABBA for long term 
medium to long term kung gusto niyo, di ba? I think it's gonna be like Ani si Aba, right? Because they're, they're the fundamentals of the company is getting better and better. That's why I'm always recommending Aba pa rin. Just buy on the dips whenever it goes down and then you buy more and then you just sell if you want to kasi maakit naman siya. Sell at the top and then just buy more again on the dips, right? So, ganyan lang ang gawin nyo kay Aba. So, let me go go down after nung, ano, after nung sound issue kanina. Um, Gerald has a question. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. MRC or in PHA po. And let's talk about them. Um, mahina sound. Bloom. May audio ka, Sir. Mahina, Sir. Mahina audio. Ah, hindi po katahimikan lang di. Walang audio. All right. Let me just. Ayan. Okay na ang audio. Okay na. All right. Okay. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. And like ka. Yeah, good. <clears throat> Sir, good morning. Asan na yun? Ay, bumababigla. Yeah, let me just look for the comments. Okay, na sure. Okay, na sound. Pa shout out po kay um Edwin S. Pa shout out po kay Joanne sa board exam niya Lodi after daw mag stock siya. <laughs> so, hey, may board exam pa lang ngayon. Um anong course yung nag magbo board exam today? So, good luck sa inyo. MC Butete, good morning. Jul Ganda, sir. Hold pa ba si Now? Yan. Pinag-usapan natin yan ma'am kanina. Um, si now kung i-hold ba I'd say depende sa inyo talaga if you're betting on the fundamentals of now yes now is something you hold and then you just buy more if it goes down right so it really depends on your ano really depends on your purpose in getting into now um, Jonamin Garlit good morning like ah uh, yan Rodel Gachelian good morning Sir Lloyd good morning then Engineer MMI good morning Raul Jordan good morning Sir Lloyd PXP and SDR po I'm going to write these down, guys, but I'm not sure if madadaanan natin yan. But if we have time, we're going to do charting also after the discussion, Michelle. Yeah, if you have any ideas about the third telco, uh, if you have anything to share, if you want to share your side about the third telco, uh, please let me know. Um, let me know your ano, and if you have any questions about the third telco, uh, put, post it in the comments also so we can discuss about it, right? Um, Michelle Desagun. Good morning. Austin Camacho, good morning, Sir Lloyd. God bless, sir. Eliasar, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Saya ng telco, sir. Yes, and daming nag-hype ngayon sa telco, sir. That's why we're gonna be talking about it. Good AM, Sir Lloyd. Is Annie okay for long term? Yes, definitely is. Um, the fundamentals of the company is getting better and better. So, yeah, I'd say Annie is good for long term. But again, guys, walang forever na uptrend. So, yan, um, konti ingat lang. Jonamin Garlit, Med and JFC, sir. Right, Med. And GGS also. All right, Monet Lagman, uh, Engineer MMI Food and SSI, sir. Uy, si SSI, umakit pa rin na, diba? Uh, I'm not sure, hindi ko na kamusta si SSI ngayon. But yeah, SSI has been constantly earning, so good job sa mga pumasok. All right, um... Asa na tayo? Monet Lagman. Good morning, sir, SCC and SSI. Please, uh, I'll write down SCC. And good morning from STV Trader, now ATN and MRC. Now ATN and MRC. And uh, Ellie Flores has a question about CNPF and house. Right. Um, kasi karamihan ng mga question ng mga tao charting ah. <laughs> In the third telco, ah. right. Uh, sir, good AM, sir. You then a group po CLC kaya gagamit gagamitin ni or ISM. Yan. Very good question because that's one of the issues that I'm gonna be uh, talking about right now. Ayan Paul. So, yan. Um, there's this strong rumor that is out that I, uh, ISM is gonna be working with you, Dena. And anyways, parehas lang naman sila ng ano. And they have a partner and then si SM din. Si SMP, si SM, uh, if a fund nila si ECP. Right, that's one of the topic we're gonna be talking about right now. So, if a fund nila si ECP, so ISM, I say it's good. ECP, is, I think it's good because of that rumor. Um, but what do you think about it? Let me know if there's something you, uh, you know about it. But if that is good, then yeah, ISM. That's gonna be very good for ISM and uh, ECP if that's if if that's true, right? So uh, I'm still looking. I'm still looking further for ano for any uh, development about ECP and ISM. Si Chavit Singson 
kumuha na ng ano um, is gonna be playing with the uh, for the third telco also not really sure what Chavit Singson is gonna do right hindi ko alam kung ano gusto niyang gawin right uh, but let's see let's see um baka pumartner din siya sa iba di ba yun yung yun yung ano eh yun yung pwedeng mangyari sa ano eh sa uh, sa telco eh but yeah um Dennis Uy and SM sila si and we have this rumor before si SM papasok sa telco so i guess they're gonna be partnering up with ISM right and then plus isang China telco and then the local telco will be ECP so that i think that's what's gonna happen for ECP and uh, at least that's the rumor right but that, if that's true then that's good for ECP right so i think Uh, get si ISM and ECP but yeah I've been really I've been really vocal about ISM lately diba alam nyo naman if you're if taga-subaybay kayo sa uh, sa daily grind I've been recommending ISM for a while now because they have a lot in their pocket right now Mal- malaking pera nila sa pockets nila um, this will give them a very strategic uh, uh, this gave them a very strategic position sa telco bidding so whatever uh, whatever um Uh, whatever company has uh, need something about the third telco, malaki contribute nila with that 4 billion, right? Those that's like almost half of the requirements uh, of the requirement required uh, asset na kailangan sa isang company to be able to bid for the third telco, di ba? So that's 4 billion. That's a lot. Um, next is a uh, phantom blo- vlogging. Um, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Uh, right, good morning. Nanet Mill, I don't know bakit na-retract ang message mo. First of um Kian, Kian, Kian. MY, Sir. Yes, MY has been doing good. Uh, did well yesterday and nag buy back na naman sila today. So, that's something good. Asa na ako? Ayan. So, yeah. Uh, Nanette Mill, good morning po, sir. MRC po. And let's talk about MRC if we have time. Christian Joseph Mikwa. Good morning, sir. Lloyd, TBGI, ATN. Jeff, CBDO, CPG, and Popey. TBGI. Popey. Alright. Good morning, sir. DNL. Thanks. Um, let's talk about DNL also. One of the blue chips. Kaso nga lang, yeah, bumababa pa siya. So, hawak lang muna kay DNL for me. Um... <laughs> um, Christian Jude Salcedo Chupit na ba kay SSI? I don't want to say chupit ka agad Because I, I haven't seen the uh, Kahapon, ang ganda kahapon eh um, Dapat nakapag-chupit kayo kahapon right? SSI went uh, Hit a new high again Yesterday, but it's not an all-time high But uh, for the past ilang araw Umakit sa si SSI kahapon And then nagka-chupita na That's the thing with the ano Nag-breakout si I, uh, Let's talk about uh, let's sh- let me share my screen here. Let's talk about SSI. Uh, yan. So kahapon ito nangyari kay SSI. Right? So SSI kahapon umabot ng 2.55. That was very big for that was a very big move kay SSI. But remember, at least sinasabi ko sa inyo lagi, uh, on a bearish market breakouts doesn't usually hold so this is a breakout on its long term trend right mas longer trend niya so yes nag breakout siya dito nag breakout siya doon and then doon right and then no nag breakout na siya sa major resistance niya nagkachupitan ka agad right so dapat mabilis kayo this is why i really want you to watch the market if you want to trade right kung nagte-trade kayo please watch the market as much as you can para alam ninyo kung kailan magbebenta, right? Dito pa lang ni-recommend ko na si SSI and that has been a lot. This is the time that you could have sold half already, right? Nung umabot ng 2.55, right? That's 20% gain. So yeah, chupit na dapat doon. Right now, hindi eh. Um, kung hindi kayo nakabenta dyan, uh, it's up to you if you wanna sell pa rin. At least may makita pa rin kayo ng konti kasi baka umabot sa MA20 and even if baka nga bumalik agad sa major support niya kasi the market is bearish that's that's the thing we don't really know what will happen and you always expect the worst especially on the bearish market so um whenever you can try to sell right but right now we are waiting for another entry point pag nagreen na naman yan yan yung entry point natin so i don't think it's a sell 
time already today, it's already a buy more time na. Right? It's time to buy more. Pero antayin lang natin yung green. So, sit mode muna tayo. I don't want to recommend really to sell your stocks. But, if you see weakness today, if may kita pa naman kayo, uh, you can sell half and let the other half ride. And then, if bumaba pa, just buy more. Right? Sayang. Sayang if hindi kayo nakapagbenta kahapon. But, yeah. I really want you to sell whenever you can. Right? Um, AJ Cruz, uh, your message got retracted. Uh, Roy, um, Harold Estrada, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. May we have, uh, may we all have a blessed day. Yeah, may we all have a blessed day. AJ Cruz, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Um, good morning, po, sir, from Dubai. IRC po, po sir. Yan, mga kapatid nating OFWs and inaabangan din nila yung mga third telco na yan. Si IRC, guys, uh, meron akong, uh, may, ano yun, may email. Um, a friend of mine consulted uh, IRC about the uh, Swiss Challenge. And their vice president responded sa email, sa query. And they responded na, ano, um, sa results ng Swiss Challenge, walang nag-counter bid, right? But they haven't been able to set out the official news yet. But yeah, that's, that's the, uh, the news might come out anytime soon, right? For IR, so for IRC, tingnan natin, hopefully nakag, nakapag, Pasok kayo sa baba. Because I've been recommending IRC for the past ilang araw na, di ba? We even have a special episode about that. Bumagsak si IRC on this day. Swerte ng mga sumalo, right? Uh, this was a dip. And I would, I, I, I've been telling you, buy the dips. And yun, nag-dip na siya. And from that point, 29% na ang ginalaw niya. Even if dito lang kayo pumasok sa MA20. Look at that right there. Beautiful MA20 bounces. Yan. Diba? Sabi ko sa inyo, magbabounce sa MA20. So, yeah. Um, it's still 17% gain. Right? So, um, konting ingat lang today. Kasi marami na ngayon, ang problema nito is marami nang may hawak ng IRC. Right? Millions na ang hawak ng mga big institutions sa IRC. Baka magka-sell on news. Right? So, konting ingat. Um, on news... I don't want you to buy pag lumabas ng news. Right? I want you to buy habang maaga pa. Right? Kasi pag news na yan, magiging in demand na yan, and magkakabinta, uh, magkakabilihan, yes, there will be people who will be buying. But this is a bearish market. Remember, sa bearish market, karimihan ng mga tao, traders. So, bibitawan nila yung mga stock nila because they're not into IRC for long term. Right? Wala pang investors gaano ngayon kay IRC. Remember that. Marami ang tao sa market are traders and they're not long term holders ang traders. They're gonna sell it when the demand is high. So, habang umakit yan, and if they see weakness, magbaba, uh, magbebentahan yan at babagsak ang gains nyo. Right? So, if you wanna get in, please be careful. Right? Pag lumabas ang news, baka magkabentahan ang lahat. Right? Ang problema is, if magbebentahan yung mga yan, sobrang dami ng hawak nila. Ang konti lang ang mga investors. Right? Those who are investors are gonna go buy, buy on news. Siyempre, di ba? Investor naman sila. Kung bababa yan, they're just gonna buy more. But ang mga chupitero na marami ng hawak ngayon, especially those who bought the rumor pa lang dito around this area, for sure magbebenta yan sa, uh, sa, sa news. And if mas marami ang magbebenta kaysa bibili, kasi it's a bearish market nga, konti lang ang investors, um, mas marami ang traders, and then if mas marami ang magbebenta kaysa sa mga bibili, it's gonna go down, IRC. Magiging sell on you sa mangyayari. So, if you, kung gusto nyo pang humabog kay IRC ngayon, I think it's still okay. And let's see what will happen on the, uh, on the, what they call this, on the day that the news will come out. Right? So, that's for IRC. Yun yung, yun yung two cents ko kay IRC. So, konti ingat mo na ha. Kasi maraming nahawak ng mga tao. Alright. Um, Asan na ako? Alright. So, Romy Calabar. Uh, Manilin Singh, good morning Sir Lloyd Pababa na po ba si food? Uh, yes, somehow Bumaba, Bumababa na si food let's, let's talk about that in a bit right, Isulat po muna si food right, Pababa na ba si food? Victor Giyab, good morning um, Romy Cabalar, good morning Sir MWC po uh, MWC, I've been looking at MWC for how many days now Kasi uptrend siya And umaakit nga, right? So, yun. Um, let's talk about MWC. Miriam Veloria. Good morning, Sir. MRC, SMPH, RLC, and FB po. SMPH, RLC, and FB. Mm. 
Right. Lapit lang ako sa microphone para hindi ko hindi ko lalakasan ng boses ko kasi sumasakit na naman ang lalamunan ko eh. Um, good morning sir, welcome from the net mail. Welcome, we'll talk about that in a bit. Right. Engineer MMI, malaki ba advantage yung try mega franchise ng now? Um, we, you can't really call it an advantage, right? Um, ang advantage lang naman sa mga partnership is makakaya nila yung pera. Yes. So, um, with now na meron silang uh, uh, meron silang ginagawa uh, but yeah, the time try mega franchise, I don't think it's gonna be a uh, uh, a plus, right? Because hindi naman requirement yan sa sa bidding, eh. so I don't think it's gonna be a very it's 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 gonna be a very big advantage. Ang advantage nyan makikita ko is what if it, they don't win, they're still gonna be having access to this uh, sa 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 franchise, de ba? So they can use that to expand and niche. Niching is um it's a business strategy na ginagawa ng even the big companies right now, right? Um, for example, dito sa cities, let's talk about beer. Dito sa cities, ang uso na beer dito is Red Horse. I don't know sa Manila. Dito sa Cebu is Red Horse ang malakas, right? Yun yung tambayan talaga ma- ng mga tao. But ang, ang target market kasi ng Red Horse is mga medyo social na mga tao, di ba? Doon sa probinsya naman, if nakikita ninyo si Gold Eagle Beer, right? si Gold Eagle Beer yung mga advertisements nila, mga magsasaka na sa probinsya because that's their target market. So, doon sa probinsya, nung pumunta ako ng Mindanao, kasi taga Mindanao ang dad ko, eh, nagkainuman, tingin ko doon, Gold Eagle Beer ang uso. Ang daming Gold Eagle Beer, walang Red Horse halos, right? So, yeah, that's niching, right? You have to look for uh, a, speci- uh, a specific market na wala pa, hindi pa uso ito. So, ang third telco, their, their first focus is gonna be on Manila. Right? So, yun yung uh, Manila and then Luzon. Yun muna. And it's gonna take them years para uh, months para makapag makapag-stabilize talaga sa Luzon before they're gonna be expanding to down south. Now, if I am if I am wise, if I am now and I have access to the technology already and I have funds, I'm gonna be niching to Cebu or other cities na hindi pa mauna si PTNT. So, I'm gonna gain traction in these locations first before I'm gonna be uh, before I'm gonna go to ano, before before maunahan ako ni PTNT, di ba? So, si PTNT, may hirapan mag-reach doon sa mga side cities talaga na hindi um, hindi ganong kalakihan kasi ang focus na are the big cities. So, I now can always niche to this uh, to these locations. And then, malaki pa rin naman ang market doon, eh, di ba? So, yeah. I'd say it's still okay for now. It's gonna be an advantage for them if hindi sila ma- mapipili na third telco. But for as the third telco, I don't think that's gonna be a very good, uh, that's a, not gonna be a very big advantage, right? Zion Miguel, good morning, sir. Lloyd, kasali po ba si TBGI sa third telco? As of now, wala namang, wala pang sinasabi si TBGI. Ang gusto lang nila is they're gonna be tapping uh, kung sino man magiging third telco and the other telcos. Iba naman ang business strategy ni TBGI. Right? What they're gonna be doing is uh, they're gonna be tapping kung sino man mapipili ang third telco and those who are bidding. Uh, they're gonna be uh, partnering up with them kasi sila yung magiging contractor for the cell sites that will be needed for the third that third telco bidder right third telco ikaw for example ang napili ng third telco si now um tbgi is gonna be contacting now because they have the funds and technology for cell sites at least si now meron na silang contractor para sa mga cell sites nila and that's still gonna be very big so that's still gonna be that's that's a smart move by, by tbgi right um DBGI knows na baka mahirapan sila sa telco bidding so why not be a friend with everyone and earn at with the earn sa telco pa rin na industry at the same time right so that's a very smart move by TBGI actually so they're not gonna be most probably they're not gonna be bidding for the third telco but their project right now is they're con- uh, they're partnering up with these people para kung sila man ang mapipiling third telco or if hindi man sila mapipili they're still gonna be holding the project sa mga cell sites so that's still gonna be very big right ito yung mga parasite st- strategy di ba if hindi ako makaka- magiging third telco why not I'm just gonna be uh, their contact for everything that they need so yan 
That's very, that's very smart by TBGI actually. Mm. Mighty Catalonia, Chinatel ISM ata magpa-partner sir ng TBGI ang gagawa ng tower. Yes, um that's the thing. Um Chinatel and ISM are gonna be partnering up and then yun, um Ang rumor ko kasi na nalaman is ECP ang pa-partner ay pa-partner nila. I guess I'm right now is a holdings company so they won't be able to become a telco uh they won't be able to become a telco competitor new uh new major player and MP and tawag nila yan. they can't become an NMP so ISM has to, is a holdings company now right so magagawa lang nila is they're gonna be funding a different company right so yun yung ano channel tal and ISM yes yun yung sinasabi na magkaka partner and then sasama pa nga si uh, ang C uh, ang ang SM eh, diba so sasama pa sila sa ISM to fund really the ano the the telco and then yun yung sinasabi ng rumor is si ECP ang i-handle nila but i can't be sure uh, that's not yet validated information right so but yeah very interesting China Tel and ISM that's a very strong move for this group that's why I've been recommending ISM right may linuluto si ISM antayin nyo lang right nagka shake off kay ISM eh, dati but yeah that's an opportunity to buy more Jacob Tolo maing buntag Sir Lloyd good morning when WN win siguro um, sulat natin si win Alright guys, I'm gonna be um, babasahin ko ang comments as much as possible because this is an interactive uh, episode, right? About the tel telco, right? Um, ver thank you so much, uh, Zion. Uh, thank you so much, Mighty Catalonia, for your inputs on uh, on the telco issue. And Ian Selson, mga 40 billion daw a year in five years. Boss, kaya kaya ba nila sa earnings nila? Considering Filipino companies will get 60% uh then 40% for the foreign company sir lloyd yes i think kaya naman yan that's that will not be a problem really right they can have internal agreements na uh pwede silang magloan it's it's very possible right the the yung partner nila niyan pwede nilang pwede silang magloan sa labas ng mga companies i mean sa labas and then fund it to their partner and then lalabas lang na loan lang ng company ang mangyayari. So, it's still still possible. Right? Kasi, for example, ako si China Tel. Right? This comp my, my partner in Philippines needs uh, 40 billion I mean, 40 billion, yeah. 40, uh, 40 billion in 5 years. So, that's a lot. Right? So, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be looking for uh, uh, for investors dun sa China. Right? And then, I'm gonna fund it to the third telco and then ilalabas namin yan hindi ko hindi loan ni China Tel loan ng ISM yan if you have a foreign if you have a foreign partner na malaki that company can always take a loan for you easy so hindi problema yan actually hindi problema ang pera if ganito talaga guys if in business even in for a normal person hindi naman talaga um ka, hindi naman lahat meron naman talaga mahirap talaga wala wala talaga kinikita but average person uh, karamihan ng mga tao ngayon may kita di ba if it comes to money if there is a will there is always a way and in the, ang fino-focus na mga negosyante and the entrepreneurs and the successful people is really how to get more money right ang problema lang sa mga karamihan ng mga Pinoy I'm guilty of this before ganito ako um, sa mga kinikita ko um, I always say na kulang ang pera ko right but if really there is a will meron talagang way to, to to save up or to earn other things. Pwede kang magnegosyo ng maliit, luto-luto ng mga ganyan. I have a friend in office who who cooks um who cooks meals and sells it to to our teammates, right? So ganun, there's always a way to earn money, right? And these guys are very good at that. Right? So 40 billion na yan, that's always possible. Walang problema yan. Money is not an issue with this kind uh with this kind of play. Kung meron na tayong ano, may, kung meron ng Malaking partner and China Tel is a very good company. They can always get uh, that four billion if they want to, right? So that's a lot. Right, Roger Aguilar, your message got retracted. Sorry, nama. Uh, sorry. Uh, Ipit SMPH. Ipit SMPH. Okay, but to buy more average down, definitely yes. If you think SM is gonna be continuing to grow, then continue buying SM. I st I strongly recommend you guys average down. Right, average down to increase your volume. Getting rich in the stock market is about volume. 
Right? Yes, may kumikita sa trading, but not that much. Right? Only those who are exceptional really earn so much in trading. Right? It's about volume lang talaga. It's about saving money. If, uh, I always teach this to my students. Right? Um, stock market is really about it's really about um, protecting your money. Right? And then gaining volume right para um, five years from now napakarami mo ng SMPH na stock and then if umakit yan and you have a million stocks kay SMPH man if it's gonna go up in a year na let's say for example kahit in a year um, 10% lang then that's uh, if you have 1 million already pesos invested in SMPH 10% is 100,000 a year saan ka, uh, saan ka kukuha yan di ba 100,000 in just and you did not even you did not even ano you did not even uh what they call this you did not even work diba si SM lang nagtabaho sa inyo so don't worry about it right now if you're in it for long term um think of the bigger picture in a day if you have a million already stocks available kay a um, million pesos worth of stock available kay SMPH right 5 years 10 years from now if you have 1 million invested in SMPH, gumalaw lang yan ng 2% a day, meron kang 20% uh, 20,000 a day, and then pwede mo i-withdraw yung 20,000 na yan, and then just buy more or less at the dips if you really want if you really want to, di ba? So yeah, it's about volume, so always average down, as long I strongly recommend always averaging down, right? When Berba Saldis, SMPH, and Relics, Lyrics, let late me tapos na ba si MRC? We'll talk about that in a while. Um, Edgar Kabakungan. Good morning so sir po. Salamat po. You're welcome. Good morning then. Weng Berbasalde. Okay pa ba bumili kay IRC now? Um IRC I'd say wait for the breakout or wait for it to really stabilize below kasi kahapon umakyat siya then went down, right? Um pero my news eh, so that could be something. Mahirap ito. Um stocks with news. Stock the stocks that are based on news are really hard to read right kasi karamihan sa PH ngayon especially in a bearish market ang paggalaw ng stocks is depende sa news ni very news dependent na ngayon so if ever um lumabas yung news baka umakyat i think baka umakyat si IRC i can't really tell you need to check out we need to see the details today this, we need to see the price action today if we, to tell that if it's gonna go up or not it's really hard to predict these kinds of movements because we're not looking at charts on uh, news driven stocks we're looking at news right uh, Roger Aguilar tell GFC GT cap GT cap right so mga request yung charts ha uh, mamaya lang uh, unahin natin yung mga third telco topic natin ngayon for Robert Aguilar salamat po sir lord you're welcome Christian uh, Salcedo, Randy Catalma, good morning. Led hi sir, good morning po. Good morning din. Benwa, good morning po sa lahat. Happy viewing po here in Taiwan. Ayan, good morning sa inyo mga kapatid nating OFW sa Taiwan. Um, tapos na ba yung CPG? I'd say CPG is still buy on nips, right? CPG is doing well. Diba? Umakit naman sa si CPG, right? So right now, CPG from the support is already... 3.49 okay pa it's still taller but I'd say this is still a buy but then again I'm recommending CPG for long term eh. right ito yung target natin eh, yung pag akyat na yan eh. so this is the Warren Buffett mode of stock market right? this is a good avenue to sit while overall mura pa siya this is gonna be a huge reversal for CPG now that CPG has been recovering in their projects ang daming magandang projects si CPG so if you wanna get into CPG I'd say it's for long term I'm looking at this for long term si CPG right Ald Aldrin Christian my gold eagle pa pala hindi <laughs> na ko nakita nakikita yun yeah, nakakita yun kasi wala sa city ang gold eagle beer but if you go to the provinces si gold eagle beer ang uso that's niching right dati si coke dito uso uh, sa probinsya si RC Cola yan yan yung uso sa probinsya right so that's what you call niching right go to the avenues na may hirapan yung mga bigger na companies na mag-concentrate so um ginagawa namin dito noon is sa Manila uh, I've there's this businessman that I follow also eh, kasi his plan uh oh, alam yung mga playgrounds uh, mga play uh playroom sa mall sa Manila pa lang yun eh and then someone uh, a businessman here in Cebu saw that and saw that as a good opportunity kasi wala pang ganyan dito sa Cebu so dinala niya dito ang business mo, um, business style sa Cebu eh. so he niched 
to Cebu and then siya nauna sa Cebu. So it was very big and it was successful. You can still be successful by copying other businesses pero gamit, gamitan mo ng strategy. Hindi naman pwede na, uy, maguman, maganda itong negosyo na ito sa Manila so gagawa rin ako pero sa Manila ka pa rin magpo-position. Diba? So that's not niching. Right? Go to an, to, to an area na wala pa yon yung kalaban, uh, yung, yung business na yon para kumita kayo. Right? Nelson Sullivan, San Miguel, sir. San Mig sa mga bar. Yeah. San Miguel sa mga bar. I see. Sa San Miguel para sa mga bars. Right? Dito sa Cebu kasi yung mga, mga hardcore mga tao dito sa Cebu. Red Horse ang uso dito. Eh. Ni ba sir, nag-bid, nag-bid si Chavit Sengson? Yes, Chavit Sengson mag-bid for third telco. Hindi ko nga alam kung anong third telco, anong telco ang ang hawakan niya. If you have any idea, put, put, post it on the comments. Ano yung company ni Chavit Sengson na mag-bid for the third telco? I think they're just gonna be funding uh, he's gonna be helping fund a different telco so hindi ko pala tal- talaga alam is it is it ICT Converge ICT with Chavit I'm not really sure uh, Sir Lloyd sana meron ulit na itatapping na third telco sa program mo next coming week or month salamat po yes definitely if there's a huge development sa third telco uh, we're gonna be talking about this I love Tempura kung gusto nyo may band sites pili- uh, mga gusto nyo may mga band sites pili- piliin ninyo yung Chinatel baka hindi niyo na uh, baka hindi niyo alam ban ang Instagram sa China lol <laughs> right um that's China's ano hindi naman sa telco derivative yan eh um right, very good uh, very good input si Tem- I love tempura yeah sa China if you don't know bawal ang Facebook uh, bawal ang YouTube sa China I think YouTube bawal ba I'm not really sure bawal ang Instagram sa China yan but that's not because of Chinatel Um, that's because of the government, right? The govern that's in their law na bawal yan, so di mo magamit yon. So, but if China tal will become our partner here, I don't think they will be they will be able to do that here, cause hindi naman ang government natin ang nagbabawal yun, eh, right? So si China tal hindi naman sila nagbabawal nun. It was the government, right? But still very very good input. I love them pura. Yet, Pishway, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Uh, your insights on IDC, IDC, I still I still think is a good buy. Uh, yeah, let's talk about that in a while. And Jenna says sa support there. Eh. We're at support area levels, so hopefully this support holds. Pag nag-green yan, then that's a buy. Um, good day, Sir IRC. Please from Romeo, ATN as well. Yes, nakalista na yan. Raymar Mariano, good morning, Sir Lloyd, JFC. Uh, how about our Itoro, Neil? Ah, uh, yes. Itoro update. Um, I had to cut loss kay Baba yesterday. Don't worry, guys. Ganito yan. Um, sa Itoro na copy trading, uh, give me months, right? Uh, hindi naman instant na ma- ma- mag-win yan. If you, if you can see my port, napakaliit pa lang ng port. It's still just starting. So, hindi mo makikita talaga yung, uh, yung earnings na yan right away, right? Uh, so we're still, uh, we're still uh, working our way, uh, wor- our way in Itoro, right? So, I'm gonna be adding funds and then, pag nag-add na ako ng funds, dyan, um, I'm gonna be adding to the positions. Nag-cut loss ako kay Alibaba yesterday. Alibaba sadly was greatly affected by the ano with the uh with the uh what they call this with the tawag niyan um trade wars, right? Um so but, but I get got into baba because of the uh Bitcoin na developments nila may ginagawa sila sa Bitcoin na maganda. So I bet on that kasi nga lang it failed so I had to cut my losses. So I'm going to be looking for another position uh in a while, right? mag-aaral pa ako ng market to add more. Uh, tier 1, yan, tier 1 pala yung kay Chavit, yan, si tier 1 pala yun. Ayan. So, that's very good. They're gonna be bidding also. Um, nakita ko lang yung picture, eh. yung foreigner ang nakita ko, so I thought that was Converge ICT. So, tier 1 pala yun. Ayan. That's very good. Tier 1 is a very good company. Um, I think, that's, that they're gonna be very good. Chavit Singson is gonna be funding them. Ang daming pera ng Chavit Singson. So, yun. Uh, I, th- I guess, ano, uh, Yun. So that's something we 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 wanna check out. Um, Chavit Singson with Tier One. So he's gonna be funding them also. Right. That's that's something big, diba? So let's check it out in the coming days. Guru, next week we're gonna be discussing about this again. Singson plus Tier One ZTE. Ah, si ZTE for for China, parin. Right. So that's good. Richard. Um. Richard Brian Likuben provider sa ARMM ng broadband internet yes you see sila, sila tier 1 nasa Mindanao sila yan yun yung niching right because sa Manila and the and, and dito sa sa Visayas na mamayagpag na si P1 
PLDT and SM doon sa Mindanao nahihirapan si SA sila uh, PLDT doon kaya hindi nila binabaliwala nila kasi sa sobrang laki ng lugar and they're gonna be needing so much money and infrastructure sa Mindanao kaya yung mga ibang uh, telco doon sa Mindanao nag-concentrate that's niching and then that's still successful di ba? The Luis uh, the Luis Chavez Singson LCS group joined the consortium for of tier 1 to bring the much needed world class telecom services across the archipelago. archipelago. All right, that's good. Um tier 1 yung kay Chavez Singson kasi hindi ko alam kung may backdoor sa PSA. That's sad if ever wala. Yes, that's the problem. Tier 1 wala silang ano, wala silang si, pati si Chavez Singson hindi niya kailangan ng PSA. Eh. Maraming pera si Chavez. Eh. <laughs> All right, so yeah. Um hopefully Chavez allows us to invest in them kung sila man mapipili, right? Yun yung problema eh, di ba? That's the thing eh. Um, sobrang hype natin sa nasa PSE ngayon sa about the about the, the telco but what if ang mapipiling telco wala naman sa hindi naman naka-IPO. So, wala. Zero tayo, di ba? So, hopefully they place it in an IPO. Sana gawing requirement ng <laughs> ng ano ng 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 mm, NTC uh DICT na na ano na gawin nilang requirement na dapat mag IPO in the coming year sana hopefully because habang mura pa sila makapasok tayo nakikita nyo sila globe ngayon nasa 2000 levels na si PTNT nasa halos kala, hindi pa nga umabot ng piso di ba so ang laki pa ng pwedeng ikita natin pag nakapasok tayo sa mga yan right. um Z- Gutierrez good morning sir Didi Didi po sana thank you Let's talk about that Desiree Juan Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Didi, uh, uh, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Sir, my third telco na ibig sabihin possible bumaba sila Tel and Globe. Right? Um, there's a possibility na bumaba si Tel and Globe. Right? But right now, hindi pa eh. So, um, for sure, PLDT is gonna be competing with them. Yes, that's a very big possibility na bumaba si uh, Tel and Globe. Right? So, if you're into Tel and Globe for long term, medyo ingat lang muna kasi pag lumabas yung turtle ko, baka maapektahan sila. And then, kasi a very big chunk of their earnings is gonna go, is gonna go to the third telco. So, that's gonna take a big bite off of their, ano, of their earnings. So, baka bumaba sila. So, that's the possible scenario. That's Ray Juan. Gilbert Vela, uh, Veles, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Nalate ako. Ex- insights for ABBA. ABBA is still okay for me. Ayan, si ABBA. Nanalo yun kahapon. Um, Yes, that's that's the move kay Aba. I've been telling you na pumasok kay Aba, ano maakit na naman siya. I think Aba is gonna be doing an Annie also because the fundamentals of the company is getting better and better. Right. Um uh, who is Juan Tamad? Sir, si Telenor, foreign company siya, di ba? Sino kaya ang local partner niya? Yun na hindi pa natin alam. Gusto ko sana is, ano eh, yung sa Australia na ano eh, um, Australia, yung nagpartner kay SMC dati, sana bumalik sila. That's a very good, Telstra, yeah. Telstra is a very good company, sana. Um, hopefully, Telstra will, will, ano, will bid for that also. Hopefully, that will happen. So, yeah, um, yun na muna ang comments ng mga tao. We'll talk about the charts. Uh, alam nyo naman yung long-term picks ko for the meantime. So, sila PHA, CPG, MRC, ABBA, or, ang Fibonacci may nag, uh, si or and si or guys kahapon nagka shake up look at that ang daming lumabas kahapon but those people who know the fundamentals of or sinalo na lang right those who were impatient and sold yun binili lang ng mga binili na lang ng mga nakakalam about kay or so i'm still recommending or and guys uh, this is something for long term right maganda naman yung pwesto niya ngayon still very cheap overall i'd say it's cheap for the coming projects kay Or, right? Or is now a holdings company. Dami na nilang projects na ginagawa. Right? So, Or is a buy for me. 9, 10 na, right? Um, prospective bidders were identified as Mindanao based tier 1, Communication, Dennis Uy led Udena Corp, Norris Telenor Group, and Homegrown Now Telecom, right? So, yeah, let's let's monitor in the coming days on development ng telco, right? So, yan, yeah, um, hot topics today si IRC. IRC's news is gonna go come out anytime soon. Ang problema lang is IRC is already at resistance level, so I really can't recommend buying IRC right now. Dito pa lang nung recommend ko dito. This was the best area to buy again, right? Kay IRC, di ba? Um, but right now, 
uh, medyo mahirap na si IRC. Let's check out the price action. I can't really tell, uh, tell you as of the moment. Pero what I can tell you is, there's a possibility that the news will come out this week na walang, uh, walang nag-ano ng Swiss challenge, walang nag-counter, what they call this, counter bid. So, IRC, tuloy na tuloy na, if matutuloy yan. Yes, it's gonna go up, but I think magchuchupitan mo na mga tao dyan. Because again, konti lang investors. Yan, bababa muna yan before really going up. Guys, nga pala, please share the video. Right? Um, yun yung request ko sa inyo para at least makita ng mga tao ang replay ng video. Uh, they're gonna know about this program. Also, um, sa Manila, October 20. Yan, I'll see you there. Uh, andun yung registration sa uh, The Billionaires Club. Also, October 14. Sa Bacolo. There are still a few seats available. Um, konti na lang. So, please send us a message kung gusto mo mag-join sa Bacolod Seminar. That will be on October 14. Right? October 14. Malapit na. That's this week. This weekend. Right. Um, next up is GFC. Let's talk about GFC kasi bumaba na naman si GFC kahapon. Perish market. It broke the first bottom right here. But we're at a strong support area already. This has been a very strong support kay GFC. If it's gonna go even further down, antay na lang nyo yung reversal talaga before you wanna get in. This is an opportunity to buy more. Okay, JFC. JFC, you know the fundamentals of JFC. No, no need to really explain this to you, di ba? Alam nyo naman si JFC. And then this is our opportunity to buy more. It's just that wala pa ang mga investors. Pag pumasok na investors. Huwag nyo hahayaan na kung kailan pumapasok ang investors, dun pa kayo pumapasok ulit. Be there at the first uh, be there first, really. That's the key into the stock market. Kasi alam nyo naman yung jockey, please. Yun yung topic, topic natin kahapon, di ba? So, before magkalaro-laro dyan sa taas, dapat nasa baba pa lang andyan na kayo. Kahit, para kahit anong gawin ninyo, uh, anong gawin nila sa taas, hindi kayo matatamaan. Good morning, Sir SSI, F. Jen, Annie. But what if you already have it? Hold lang po. Yan, kay GFC. Yes, I'd say hold. Right? Uh, GFC, um, if you were able to sell half here, let the other half ride. Depende kasi yan eh. It's really up to your strategy. What are your plans in GFC? Are you in it for long term? If you're in it for long term, then that's a hold for me. Right? But if you're in it for trading, then you let go of GFC because it broke support. Right? Baka bumaba pa yan. Hindi nyo alam. So if you're in it for trading, lumabas ka na. But if you're in it for long term, I will strongly recommend this for long term. But I don't want to mess with your trading strategy. It's up to you. I'm just saying hold it if you are in it for long term. But if you're in it for trading, then get out. Uh, kasi nag-break na na support. Delikado na. Right? Sir Lloyd, saan po makikita yung link ng eToro? Yes. Um, nasa description ng video. There's a link on the description. Um, create an eToro account using this link. Nasa description ng video. Nasa baba. <laughs> right? So, yan. Um, let's continue. So, GFC, I'd say it's a hold for long term holders pero if you want to buy GFC now wait lang muna for a reversal we are at su strong support levels already pag nag bounce yan that will be a good time to buy GFC right for GFC and ang RSI ni GFC pal paganda na paganda na eh. so yes GFC buy more time is coming right malapit na right GFC STR yan si STR Yun, nasa baba na naman naglalaro si STR. So, this is the stabilization area. So, nag-stabilize na siya. So, still, I don't want to recommend STR. They haven't been doing late anything much lately to really propel their stocks up except for the numbers. But usually, the numbers are not really enough, alright? STR is to do more. You have to be more aggressive to invite more investors. So, right now, I don't want to recommend STR. But if you are into STR because you believe in STR, that's a good price action already. We have a confirmation of the support right there for STR. Right? So, yun. This is the support area right here for STR. So, meron na tayong confirmation. Pwede nyo pasukin yan. But it can fail. Right? We can't really be sure. Right? STR. Next is... Uh, food, yan, may nagtatanong about kay food kanina eh, right, food um, nasa baba pa rin si food, so I don't wanna recommend food as of the moment, at least sinasabi ko guys, uptrend, walang forever, an uptrend can stop right, so right now, nagstop pa yung uptrend ni food and nag-reversal na, right so, stay away from food for now uh, next up Ali yan, si Ali naman price action wise, okay naman si Ali, uh RSI is showing us good signs. Pababa yung presyo. But RSI is going up. So, that's 
kind of bullish, right, for me. So Ali, I'd say it's a buy already. We have two good confirmations of price action right here. Yeah, you can buy Ali, right? Overall, napakamura pa naman ni Ali. And long term, Ali is a very good company. So yeah, I'd say it's a buy more for Ali right there. Next up is ISM. Yes, ISM is still a buy for me. Yep, uh, kahapon green yun eh, but closed lower. But hopefully this support holds. So if you want to buy ISM, buy as long as the support holds. I strongly recommend buying ISM. Right? Isa yan sa mga long-term picks ko. It's because they have so much in their pocket right now. And they can do so many things in the future. So I'd say ISM is opuan yan. Pwede natin pasukan yan. Right? Um, ISM, next up is Bloom. Kahapon si Bloom, umakit na. We did talk about Bloom. So that's a confirmation still. Right? Okay na bilhin si Bloom for me. So Bloom is still okay to buy. Um, next up is PSEI is starting to form a double bottom. Yes, indeed. Palapit na yung double bottom ni PSEI. Hopefully, something happens soon. But again, um, pababa, yung, um, pababa na yung presyo but RSI is starting to go up. So, that's looking good for PSEI. And kahapon, ang bagsak ni PSEI, maliit lang naman eh. Right? Napakaliit lang ng bagsak ni PSEI kahapon. So, that's something good for PSEI. Hopefully, it holds. Next up is RLC. RLC. If it goes down, I don't think it's gonna go further down kasi uh, it's already the bear months. Usually, nagra-rally naman yan. So, RLC, um, we have an ascending triangle. Wait for the breakout if you wanna get in RLC. Right? Did recommend RLC, I think, di dito sa baba. Then, umakit siya. Kaso nga lang, may strong resistance yan. But then again, the support is going up. So, that's something bullish for RLC. Just wait for the breakout if you really want to get in. Because if you want to be aggressive now, yes, meron support dito. Baka mag fail yan, and then bumaba pa sa support before really going up. So I'd I'd rather wait for the breakout on this 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 uh on this kind of play. Anyways, this is a breakout at the bottom area, na sa baba naman. So that's okay for RLC. So buy and breakout. You know, make sure lang na yung breakout maghold before kaya pumasok. Um, MPI. Right, time check it's 9:20, so we still have five minutes. Or bibilisan ko lang ito. So MPI, yes. Uh, we were talking about MPI yesterday. I did say that it was a buy already for me. But then again, MPI overall is still a buy. Napakamura pang ni MPI for a very good company. So once the bulls come in, then pwede na kayong, uh, pwede, you're already at a very good position for MPI. MPI is for long term for me. Right, JFC. We talked about that already. Food Vita. Yan si Vita. And si Vita, yan, trigger, trigger, trigger. Alam nyo naman yung mangyayari dyan, di ba? I, I did discuss this about, I did discuss this in the, what they call this, in the Bollinger Band lesson, pag natatouch sa baba, you know where this is going. We just need for, we just wait for a signal before we really can say na, um, okay na siya. But right now, wala pa. Right? RSI is already reaching the bottom level, so that's, that's good for Vita. So, antay natin yan. Upuan lang muna natin. Let's see in the future. And ayun, o nga pala guys, ayun, Meron ako nakikita kanina eh, sa CHP. Baka gusto nyo mag bottom fishing. Look at CHP. Price action. It's doing sideways. But RSI. Look at the RSI already. Um, this is a very, this is a very beautiful divergence right here. Uh, yan. Yan. So, yeah. Uh, that's a good sign for CHP. Baka gusto nyo chumupit. Napakamura ni CHP. 2.21 just got lost below that support. But then again, that's already holding. So it's, I guess that's a good avenue para chumupit kay CHP. Right? So CHP, um, yun lang for today. Chupit lang. Right? That's not for long term. Uh, that's something I look for usually sa bottom fishing. Eh. So kung, if gusto nyo mag bottom fishing, you might want to check that out. Right? Next up is, right, uh, sana ako. Uh, BDO LTG Vita Ion and si Ionix right Ionix somehow is doing sideways and then RSI is going up so maganda ito for Ionix right it's it's at a very good area napakamura niya na overall it's still on a downtrend so just plot your downtrend line and then pag nag breakout ito that is already your entry point so around this area right here so yan yung downtrend ni Ionix talaga. And then it's a sideways. Eh. Pag nag-breakout yan, that will be your entry point for Ionix, right? Uh, that's good for Ion. LTG. Bakit bumaba magsak si LTG? Market sentiments, right? Um, medyo pangit talaga market sentiments. But right now, we're seeing a convergence 
ulit, right? So, this is something something nice for LTG. Umaakit naman yung RSI niya. So, anytime soon, just wait for the confirmation before you really wanna get in LTG, right? Because we are seeing something bullish. Pag nag-green yan, aakit pa yan. So, that's already a good signal for LTG, right? Um, LTG, wait for the bounce. Um, BDO, and si BDO, uh, forming another, uh, trying to confirm the support, right? So, BDO, Pag nag-green yan, so that's a sideways trend. That can be an entry point. Pero guys, test buy lang ha. Test buy lang. Huwag muna mag-all in. A sideway trend is not your best friend. It's a stock market. The trend is your friend. So if an, ang best friend yun dito is an uptrend. If the stock is an uptrend, then dyan na kayo maglalagay ng malaking pera. Right now, this is on a sideways trend. So if you wanna get in that, pag may nakita kayong green, that's a confirmation of a support. Then that is, uh, that was, you can buy that, right? RSI is higher than the previous one. Right? So, but napakaliit lang. So, it's not really significant. So, pag nag-green yan, that can be a buy for me. Right? So, buy, wait for the bounce. Or, si or naman, um, wait for the bounce if gusto nyo tumupit kay or. But, I strongly recommend just mag-bodega kay kay or. Kung bumaba man yan, then just buy more. Right? For or. Right, um, IDC, uh, IDC is at the support area. Wait for the bounce before you wanna get in kay IDC. But that support area is a very strong support area, so I'd say this will this support will hold. Right, IDC. Next up is it's nine twenty four. So last one na lang muna. Um, IDC, MRC and so MRC. Yeah, it's part of the telco. Asawa lang nag break ang support si IRC. Yeah, but napakalit lang naman ng binrek niya. Right, the support was right here. And then, yun, um, we are at support level. So, MRC, I'd say, is wait for the bounce lang. mag lang tayo mo ng, ng reversal muna kay MRC before we wanna get in MRC. Yan, tingnan, na, tingnan muna natin ang development ni PTNT. Right? So, PTNT already did download the files for the bidding. So, officially, PTNT is part of the bidding already. So, that is something good. And then, si PTNT... Again, the scenario for the P, uh, for MRC, if ever hindi makakablik si PTNT, sila yung magiging backdoor ni PTNT. And if ever si PTNT makakaakit naman, uh, MRC uh, is gonna be sa, kung sa, dyan papasok ang mga tao if ever hindi sila makakapasok kay PTNT. Because for sure, if babalik yan si PTNT, mag-hold ang mga tao. If I was the stockholder of PTNT for long term, tiniis ko nga si PTNT, di ba? So hindi ko bibenta yan. Right? And then, if I'm gonna sell it, I'm gonna sell it at a very high price. People are gonna be buying it. So, it's gonna be very hard to get in PTNT. So, magsispill over yung demand to MRC. So, I guess MRC may hila dyan. So, again, guys, it's 9.25. I'm gonna be getting, I'm gonna be gathering more information about the telco in the coming days. So, yun lang muna available natin time for today. Sorry if hindi ko discuss lahat ng charts. Right? Just join our chat room. Um, and dyan naman, just download Discord and then the invitation link is down on the video description para maka-join kay sa chat room. The good people there helps in charting. Right? Maraming magagandang, magagaling na traders dyan sa chat room natin na gustong tumulong. So, shout out, so do, uh, shout out dun sa mga, um, uh, what do you call this, um, tumutulong sa chat room. Right? I'm very appreciative to them because they're helping newbies also. That's the goal of Financial Freedom 101. <laughs> That's it for today. I'll see you again tomorrow. We'll talk about more things tomorrow. As always, let's get rich together. Have a great day. Bye-bye, guys.